In this segment, we're going to talk about some of the different features associated with basing candles. So I turned everything off except for the um, base highs and the base lows being marked to make it simpler to kind of explain to you what is happening here. Now you can see here, this is a base that's being formed and so once price either um, breaks higher or lower, the side that is broken will disappear and then you'll just, if so, it looks like price is going higher. So this red dotted line would disappear and it would just show you that the base low was in control. Okay, and you can see here that this is a base high that's in control because the low was broken. And so that's kind of how the base highs and base lows are shown. But you also have the option to leave the broken base highs and lows on your chart. And that's where you get this purple color and this darker green color. So this is a base low that was in control that subsequently got broken. This is a base high that was in control that subsequently got broken. So can give you some information about the trends that were going on and you can see uh, what what is happening with the the base highs and base lows and the historic base highs and base lows. So let me show you where those features are. And so the good thing is everything's grouped in settings to make it easier for you to find the different areas and easily go and find those. So you can see that we have a lot of different base candle settings here. And the default is to mark the basing candles. Um, this show all basing candles, we'll talk about that more in another video, but for the purpose of this video, we wanna talk about the more commonly used features. Show base highs, the default is true. And then um, you can adjust the uh, appearance of those. Keep broken base highs, the default is true. So if you didn't want to do that, you could change that to false. And show base lows. Uh, keep the broken base lows. I'm going to change that to false. And then you, uh, we'll talk about it more in other videos, but some of the different display options um, that will help you um, just set this up, um, you know, to help your eye and how, how you view things in your charts and with you know, there may be, you have, may have additional indicators. And so you may want to make some adjustments here and we'll, we'll review those in uh, future videos, but this is just a quick overview. So let's see what this does. So you can see here that now you only see the bases that are still in control. And now that we've got some of the stuff off the chart, it makes it easier to see these little yellow dashes. This indicates the first candle of the base. And so in each scenario, you can see that the base high line starts on the first candle in the base, and it can have this dash on it, and you can um, change and adjust this or take it off whatever, whatever your preference is there. So that's a quick overview of the common settings used for the bases.